Shabbat Shalom everyone, my name is James Pride and I'm the superintendent and overseer of Non-Pagan Ministries and Training Center. You may ask, who are, who are these people? What does Non-Pagan Ministry and Training Center mean? Well, I decided to take just a few moments to let everyone know who we are and why we exist and how we come into existence. Well, first of all, I, I firm believe that Yahweh never actually named a church. If you study scripture, he just calls them the church in Ephesus or the church in Corinth or the church wherever. But I believe he gives them a people, a people group and identity. And um, when I begin to seek Yahweh and ask him, what shall this people be called? He, he really placed inside of my heart, inside of my spirit. They shall be called by their identity. And our identity for this particular ministry are a non-pagan people. What does that mean? Non-pagan people means that we are just a group of people that have purpose in our heart to transition back to Yahweh's ways, back to his, his feast, back to his Sabbath, back to his dietary laws, back to his Torah, back to his teachings and instructions. We realize that we are living in a prophetic time where many, we, many may call the restoration of the whole house of Israel. And I firmly believe that. I believe that we have entered a time where Yahweh has taken the two sticks and making them one stick in his hand. We are living in the time of Ezekiel, who prophesied that Yahweh would take the stony heart of a man and turn it into a heart of flesh and literally cause us to walk in his ways. We are living in a time that Hosea prophesied about. That at one time, this group of people looked upon the Torah as a strange thing. But they shall return back to it and walk in a much greater Torah. This is not only for the house of Judah, but it was for the whole house of Israel, including the house of Ephraim. So that's who we are. We are a non-pagan group of people that have decided to place our pagan symbols to the side. To place our pagan doctrine to the side. To place our pagan holidays to the side. And begin to turn our heart back toward Yahweh and back toward Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Messiah, and walk in His ways. We believe that Yeshua never did away with the law, but He came to fulfill it. He came to perform it and to expand it and show us the benefit of it. And we do believe that we are the people that Yahweh has touched the heart and have taken our stony heart that was at one time far away from Him and has, and has drawn us close to Him. We are that new covenant people that Jeremiah spoke about when Jeremiah said that I shall take this law and place it upon your hearts. This same law which was part of the former covenant, I will give you a new covenant. But it will consist of these same laws, but this time not upon the tablets of stone, but upon your heart. And we believe that Yahweh has given us a certificate of marriage again and asked us, Will you marry me? Will you walk in my ways again? And we have answered that call with an astounding, yes, we will. We will be faithful to you when we had turned away in the past. We will be faithful to you when we have played the harlot in the past. And we will love you according to your commands with our whole heart, with our whole soul, and with all of our mind and with all of our strength. So that's who we are. That's who this small group of people that meets here in San Antonio, Texas, called Non-Pagan Ministries, that's who we are. We welcome you to join us. We welcome you. We welcome those who have a heart to turn back to God's Torah, which happens to be his teachings and instructions, which happens to be the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. If, if Yahweh has been tugging your heart and moving you back toward his ways and you don't even know why, it's because prophetically we have entered that time where he is revisiting his people again. We ask you to join us. We ask you to celebrate in our feast. We ask you to celebrate in our meetings. We ask you to join us in Midrash with us. And we pray that you will be blessed. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah, Shabbat Shalom.